Good morning, Tuesday morning on The Breakfast Show to Adam Green and the team with you. This seems incredible, this story, but it's been more than two years since students took A-level and GCSE exams. They were cancelled the last two years because of coronavirus with results based on teacher assessment. Now, they're back this year, but exam boards are giving students some information about what will be on their papers. Well, Tim Stonel is the head of Sir John Talbot School in Whitchurch and joins me now along with a couple of students, uh, Mackenzie Birch and Blake Holmes. We'll talk to them in, in a moment. Tim, firstly, good morning to you. Uh, how's 2022 been so far? Um, good morning, yes, it's, it's been very well, uh, thank you. We've, uh, As a school, I think we've um, it, we've done much better than we thought. Um, we were a bit worried, I think, just before Christmas with the Omicron variant, but fortunately our staffing and student attendance has been really good, so we're all set for the summer ahead. And just remind us how A-level and GCSE grades have been decided during the pandemic. Uh, so the first time round we had centre assessed grades and last year we had teacher assessed grades. So um, that was uh, marks that were generated sort of without students having done the exams proper. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so a ver- very different to what people will normally have been used to in terms of exams. So things changing this time around. So why is it going back to how it might have been or almost going back to how it was? I, I think everybody in education has recognised the need for that normality of the exam season. I, I particularly, you mentioned it at the beginning, but the, our, the cohort that is our year 13 this year was the student, with students in year 11 and when they had their exams cancelled. And I think that has been really difficult for many of those students through uh, year 12 and into year 13, because especially for our high achieving students, they've often felt that they got those awards, those grades from 2020, and yet they didn't take the exams. So there's potentially been a bit of imposter syndrome. And um, I think for, I know our A-level students now are really looking forward to, to actually sitting these proper this summer and, and getting on with it. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we hear that exam boards are giving students some information about what will be on their papers. Will that make it easier for those taking exams? I think in the context of schools, this is quite a balanced approach, really. I mean, there's a range of things that have have taken place with this advanced info that came out yesterday. So it might focus um, subjects on on particular areas of the exam so that they can tailor their revision. There is, in some subjects, there's optional content, so there might be potentially less to revise. There's support materials, either formula sheets or equation sheets in some subjects, and there there, there have been some small changes to, to the requirements for coursework. So... There's a range of, uh, there's a package, if you like, for this summer that to help um, offset, I think, the disruption that the students have experienced in the last two years, but to still make sure that the exams run in a normal and conventional sense. Let's bring in a couple of students at Sir John Talbot School. So Mackenzie's taking GCSEs and Blake is doing A-levels. Good morning to you both. Um, Blake, let me start with you. What have the last couple of years been like for you with all that's been happening? Um, I'd say at the very least it's been quite stressful, um, to be honest, not being able to actually come into college, have face-to-face contact with teachers, um, because I think that's one of the the cornerstones of actually learning, is actually being there, present in the classroom with a teacher, so you're always able to get the assistance you need. Um, Being at home for online learning, I definitely think is stunted productivity, if not for other students, um, I can definitely say for students like myself. Um, with exams back this year, is that a good or a bad thing, do you think? I think overall um, it is quite a bad thing because obviously we've, we've missed a lot of the, the precious learning time within um, well our sixth form and other students all around the country. Um, but I think the changes that have been made should hopefully balance things out for all of the students. Uh, Mackenzie, what about for you? What have the last couple of years been like for you in terms of school? Really stressful. Really, really stressful. It's really, it's difficult with, you know, we've missed two years of schooling, really. And to be, we're sort of the, with the guinea pigs, we're, we're being thrown in the deep end, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I suppose you're, you're getting some idea of what you're going to be asked about in your exams. What have you been told? Um, we got the content yesterday. Um, not all of us will know because we don't see all of our teachers on the same day. Um, but we got a lot of content, what's going to be on the exams, what's not on the exams, what we definitely need to revise. I mean, for science, exactly, like, there's a lot of re- required practicals. 
um, and we know exactly what's going to be on there. We know exactly what practicals we need to remember. We need to sort of nail to get marks, um, which I definitely think is going to help us 100%. And the school, school is backing us. So I think this year it may be difficult, but I think we'll definitely get through it, especially with the help that's been given. Yeah, it's only going to be a, a positive thing. Is it? Is it good for you to be to be back at school, to be in and around people, to be shared experience with with others, with those that you're at school with? Is that helpful? Because obviously the pandemic was such an odd time for, as as Blake mentioned, being at home, home learning. Yeah, really, it's, it's definitely one hundred percent better. I mean, obviously things when we come back in September and when we come back last year and we went back into the other lockdown, um, it wasn't it wasn't great. But now it, it's better. We're in school all together again, and it's it's nice because although we were like one of the like one of the only schools doing the online learning, and that was great, and it definitely helped us, and it's definitely helped us now. Um, it's better to be in the classroom environment. It's nice being with your friends, and it's just a better overall experience for learning. Well, listen, I wish you uh, very much the best of luck for your exams. Thank you, Blake and Mackenzie. Tim, I just want to bring you you in finally. Um, obviously, you're you're hearing from just a couple of students there, and They've given a, an idea of what it's been like for them over the last couple of years. Obviously, you've times that by by many more students that you're having to look after and 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 deal with all their issues. That's that's obviously at the forefront of your thinking, isn't it? That you're you're making sure everyone is okay at, in what has been a very difficult time. Yeah, absolutely. But one of the things I think we feel very confident about now is that we are we're back in familiar territory. I mean, this is this is essentially for those exam year. This is what we do. So I stuck in trade from January through to the exams about getting students over the line academically, but equally supporting them through the process in terms of their well-being and their, if needed, their mental health as well. And you can hear from those two comments there that it's, you know, yes, there has been stresses in the last two years. But um, I think that's the value of this summer of students finishing their, with, with their exams. These adaptations, in my view, uh, support them so that they, it's more manageable. And um, the exam boards are saying that there will be this midpoint in terms of the grading somewhere between 2019 and last year. Um, so outcomes should be good as well. And, and it's now just sticking with our plans. And that, as I say, that's, that's what we've done so well in recent years. And we're just looking forward to getting students um, back towards that success this summer. Well, I wish you all the very best with all that's happening with exam season. Thanks for joining us on the programme, Tim. Tim Stonell is the head of Sir John Talbot School in Whitchurch, along with Mackenzie and Blake, a couple of students.